Hello my friends and welcome to the Walters Art Museum online! My name is Kelsey and I'm an education coordinator at the museum. I want to thank you all so much for joining us today wherever you are to look at art and to make art. Today we'll be taking a close look at a boundary stone, a work of art in the museum's ancient Near Eastern collection, and then we'll create our own land art. Let's get started by taking a close look at that object. This is a kuduru, the Akkadian term for a boundary stone. Akkadian was the language of the first empire of the ancient civilization of Mesopotamia, present-day Iraq. A boundary stone like this one would sit at the end of a person's property, kind of like a fence at the end of a yard. That's how people would know where their land ended and the next person's began. Describe what you see on this stone. I see the images of a king, gods, and divine symbols. The king is shown with his left hand raised in front of his face. He wears the tall Babylonian feathered crown and an elaborately decorated garment with a honeycomb pattern. On the top are a sun disk, star, crescent moon, and scorpion. This boundary stone is an example of art made for land although the term land art or earth art only became an art movement in the 1960s. That's over 3,000 years after this boundary stone was made. Land art inspired artists to use materials that are found in nature in nature. Let's start with a walk and be sure to bring a bag. Collect natural elements that are exciting and unique. Find a patch of dirt, grass, or sand, or a flat rock to lay out everything you've collected. I've got my natural materials, so let's get started. What kinds of materials did you collect? Explore the texture, shape, and look of each material. Is the rock smooth or rough? What does the top of the shell feel like versus the bottom? Are all the leaves green? When you're done with one creation, you can rearrange the same materials to create something new, or you can leave it for someone else to find. Land art comes in lots of shapes and sizes. You might make a self-portrait, or you might build something tall or something wide. Let's experiment with land art. That's all for now, my friends. For more information, please visit our website, thewalters.org, and follow us on social media. And please, share what you made today. I can't wait to see it. I hope to see you next time at the museum. Goodbye!